it feels like it feels like we're really making a difference and that's really what ride for water really is We're a team of 10 riders, and we're riding across the country from west coast to east coast. And we're gonna be traveling over 3,000 miles in a span of 50 plus days in the hopes of being a billboard across uh, the world saying there is a water crisis out there. Here we are, let me out back. Strand, got, stranded somewhere in eastern Montana. There's no one around for miles. We know this because we can literally see for miles. Ride for Water in the past three years has been, I think, in the top one percentile of um, donors for Charity Water, which is kind of a big deal. And this idea of us being the fourth year and, and starting a women's team, nothing excites me more to see just the basic needs being covered. Last year, I was actually sitting in the amphitheater talking with one of the other riders about how the past few years, the amazing experience that the other men have been having on the rides and just the process that they've been going through. Um, and when we got to talking, we just were like, why hasn't there been a women's team? And my passion behind combining my love for like health and wellness and physical activity and things that I just absolutely love doing was just kind of an eye-opening like I can't say no. APU has been um, a headquarters for Ride for Water and uh, has really helped us develop a community um, within APU and also helped uh, share the word. People need to know that we cannot do it without them. That it's not about us, that it's about pe people that don't have any access to clean water. And this is a communal thing, this is a community. This is not something that I can go out and do by myself. I need the body of Christ, I need the people that are around me, I need my team. We need the community to come together uh, and to raise awareness for, for this crisis. Anytime we're out on the walk or I get the chance to talk with anybody. They think it's something that like, oh, it's so awesome that like you guys have the time to do that and we just keep encouraging everyone. You can do it too. I love how when Jesus came, he, he had to sacrifice some things in order to give others life. As a team, I think we are sacrificing. If we are seeking to resemble Christ in everything that we do, then there has to be suffering. Um, and before this, I really didn't see suffering in my life. Uh, and so I wanted a little bit of that. I wanted to see what it was like to suffer for other people's sake. And so when I'm riding on my bike 50 miles and I can't go anymore, that I cannot go any farther, but I'm gonna keep suffering so that I can bring others joy and I can bring others life. We are right for water. <laughs>